This is the astonishing Pylos Combat Agate. It was unearthed in a shaft grave that was discovered in 2015 in Pylos, Greece. And because of the artwork in the combat scene, it was called the Pylos Combat Agate. The tomb where this agate was found is thought to have been sealed up and undisturbed ever since it was sealed up in 1500 BC or BCE. So this combat agate is at least as ancient as 1500 BC. The tomb was discovered in 2015, so when the agate was discovered, it had been completely encrusted in mineral deposits from 35 centuries of being sealed in this tomb and they didn't clean it off and show photographs of it to the world until 2017 and when they cleaned it off they found this incredible artwork on the hard surface of the agate etched into the surface of the agate and archaeologists and ancient historians were just amazed at the level of artistic skill and detail that has been incorporated into this artwork on the Pylos combat agate. And they were especially astonished because the entire stone is only 3.4 centimeters in width. So this detail is incredibly small and incredibly beautiful and skillful and yet it's less than 1.4 inches across on the artwork of this stone. But look at the incredible detail, the details of the rib cage and musculature of this warrior and the back muscles on the fallen warrior. And art historians and ancient historians said this completely upends the capabilities that we thought that ancient artists had 1500 BC or earlier. But the most astonishing thing to me, or one of the most astonishing things to me about this piece of artwork, when it was first uncovered, I immediately recognized that this scene of this warrior about to slay another warrior below him as he grasps the crest of his helmet and then a third warrior lying on the ground. This is a celestial scene, which I've seen in artwork before this was ever uncovered, I had shown artwork that was based on the stars from ancient cultures around the world. And this scene shows this warrior above who corresponds with Hercules slaying another warrior who corresponds with Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus figures often have a spear. And then a dead warrior on the ground corresponding either to Scorpio beneath the feet of Ophiuchus, but in this case, more corresponding to Sagittarius, directly beneath the extended leg of Hercules, if you look straight down. And notice the warrior's hand flung over his head that corresponds to the plume on the head of the outline of Sagittarius in the heavens. And some other details that I have pointed out, I made a video about this right after this Pylos combat agate was first discovered, showing that Hercules figures in myth often grasp an arc-shaped figure, just as this warrior is grasping the arc-shaped crest of the spearman just below, because Hercules in the sky is right next to the northern crown, Corona Borealis, and Hercules looks like it could be reaching out and grasping the arc shape of the northern crown. Also, the distinctive round ball at the end of the scabbard above the hip of the swordsman corresponds exactly to the location of the bright star Vega directly above the hip of the constellation Hercules. And I've seen this pattern of mythical artwork or sacred scenes corresponding to constellations in the sky and these specific constellations in other cultures around the world, including the famous scene of Geb, Shu, and Newt, the goddess Newt, the sky goddess Newt, corresponding to Hercules, Ophiuchus, and Scorpio Sagittarius in artwork from ancient Egypt, or scenes described in the Bible, such as the famous story of the vision of Jacob 
often known as Jacob's Ladder, where he falls asleep with his head on a stone and envisions a ladder with its base on the ground stretching up to the heavens and the Almighty above. And you can see the correspondences to the constellations and sometimes Jacob with his head on the stone is even depicted such as in this artwork from the 1600s in an extremely Sagittarius outline and with one arm flung over his head corresponding to the actual stars of the constellation Sagittarius which has this plume above the head of Sagittarius which can sometimes be envisioned as an arm flung over the head just as in this painting from the 1600s and as we saw in the Pylos combat agate. I will be discussing the connections between the world's ancient myths and the stars overhead in this year's exciting 12th gathering of the Conference on Procession and Ancient Knowledge in Rancho Mirage, California, which will be taking place this year, October 20th through 22nd. It's gonna be a fantastic event, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you there.